Fitness is no new trend, but the ways to stay fit and track our fitness has transitioned over the years. If we were to think the time we are in school, if we had a skipping rope that could calculate the number of jumps, that would be fascinating. But today, we have watches which not just shows your time, but also shows the number of steps you've taken in a day, monitors your heart rate, and many other aspects. Now, in this episode of One Vital Time, we're gonna look into the technology behind fitness trackers and how it gained popularity. The success story of fitness tracking devices. There are numerous fitness trackers that have greatly contributed to a healthy lifestyle globally. It has influenced more and more people to adopt to a healthy lifestyle. A study by the Journal of Medical Internet Research shows that people who are using fitness trackers or apps are comparatively more active than the people who don't. As surprising as it may sound, fitness tracking devices have managed to design a system that not only transforms the fitness tech industry but also influences the minds of the people. The rise of fitness wearables Wearables is an umbrella term that not only includes smartwatches but also other wearables like wearable cameras, AR and VR headsets. Now to understand how these wearables work, we have taken one of the most popular fitness wearable device that is smartwatches. Now, even though fitness trackers have penetrated the market, the global sales was always dominated by the more arguably feature-packed smartwatches. In 2015, the fitness industry generated $9 billion in revenue and the first-gen Apple Watch leading the market generated $1 billion in revenue alone. How are fitness tracking devices benefiting us? During the HFE survey, when people were asked if they would suggest a fitness tracking or a fitness tracking variable device to their client or a friend, 91% of those who surveyed said yes. Although these devices often go under modification to support the need of their users, there are some features which are largely beneficial. For example, there is heart rate monitoring, there is sleep monitoring, and also you can check your blood pressure on also SpO2. These devices bring you the daily dose of motivation and also help you achieve your targets, which makes you look forward to your daily fitness routine. And also let's not forget about the convenience it brings with the usage of Bluetooth to keep you notified and also to connect to any device you want. So now let's move on to the main discussion of this particular episode. That is, how do they make all this happen? How does a fitness tracking device work and the technology behind it? Let's find out. The technology behind fitness tracking devices. We all know that we have to connect our wearables to our phones using Bluetooth. Once the data is collected, do you ever wonder where it's stored? Yes, it's stored on the cloud. Once it is stored, it's further analyzed to make it into an information that you can understand. It simply cannot show you numbers and expect you to understand. There has to be a meaning behind it. If you take an example of Fitbit heart rate monitoring here, it takes the user's data, runs it to its data analytics servers and then reflects on your app dashboard. Data analysis on smartwatch data. The raw data which gets generated by your smartwatch can be used for analysis. So if you're a data scientist or an analyst, you can do this. Or if you're an aspirant to become a data scientist, this particular project could help your resume as well as your health. So you can download or export the raw data which gets generated by your smartwatch in its dashboard. And once you get that data, you can create a data set and start doing analysis on it. You can use our programming language or Python to do this particular data analysis. It totally depends on what you want to do. Now, taking Fitbit as an example, in Fitbit, you can directly export the data which your device has generated from its dashboard onto your computer. Once it's on your computer, then it's a typical data analysis process. First, clean the data and create a data set from it. For instance, you want to understand which activity has helped you burn the most calories, you can create a data set with various elements, the activity names, the time you spend doing it, and also the amount of calories which got burnt from that activity, and also other data items which are relevant to it. So now you can use this to figure out which activity helped you burn the most calories. So now this is just one of the use case, but not just this, you can do any kind of analysis with it because you have the raw data, you can export it and you can basically create any data set to create any kind of analysis you want. So with this, you can figure out more about your health and also turn it into a project of your own. We were talking about exporting raw data, but what exactly generates them? There are sensors and other components that plays a huge role in this. Let's look into it one by one. Number one, three axis accelerometer. 
these sensors are commonly found in almost all the activity tracker these days this is an electromechanical device that senses gravity as well as linear acceleration that is it tracks the direction in which your body is moving as well as it takes the inertial measurements of your body's position as well as velocity number 2 allimeter this sensor makes use of atmospheric pressure to note the change in altitude a very beneficial sensor as it accurately tracks your steps especially when you are climbing the stairs ambient light sensor how does your fitness band know that it is dark or you are stepping into sunlight so this is where the ambient light sensor comes into play it converts the light into a digital signal and broadcasts it to an inside unit and also the same sensor is used in mobile phones to increase and decrease the phone brightness number 4 barometer this detects and shows the atmospheric pressure so that you can understand whether it is going to rain or also forecast other small weather changes number 5 capacitive sensor do you know how your smart watches wake up when you move your wrist so that's where the capacity proximity sensors work comes into place so it helps reducing power consumption of your smart watch by putting your device to sleep when it's not used for a set amount of time number 6 ecg sensor also known as electrocardiogram sensor it records electric impulses sent by your heart with each beat through heart muscle these tiny signals can only be picked by ecg sensor number 7 gps global positioning system is one of the greatest features in fitness tracker as it ensures if your calorie burn statistics are accurate or not it works by tracking your exact location while you're walking or running and calculate the distance between a series of gps satellites number 8 gyroscope gyro sensor also known as angular rate sensor or angular velocity sensor helps in tracking your movement more accurately while you are on the go number 9 lte this is seen in some smart watches and also some fitness trackers an lte enabled device basically means it has a mobile network connection and it could receive or make calls directly from the device itself number 10 optical heart rate sensor Now this is the most popular and also the most common type of a sensor in smart watches and also fitness bands. So now this particular sensor sits within your device or preferably under the device so that it can cast a smart light against your skin. Why is that? Because when your heart pumps blood, it goes through your veins at a faster rate thus reflecting less light. So now using this the sensor calculates your heart rate using an algorithm. Now also don't consider this to be a perfect alternative to devices which are closer to your heart to monitor your heart rate. 11 pulse oximeter. Pulse oximeter sensors have been in the market since 1980s but they became affordable very recently. All thanks to the advancement in the healthcare system. They use LEDs as a source of light to emit into the tissue and a photo detector to collect the light back from your skin. This helps in measuring how well the oxygen is supplied to all parts of your body from your heart. 12th, temperature sensor. This sensor provides you with your body temperature reading or external temperature when needed. And lastly, UV sensors. This is one of the most important sensors. This sensor monitors the sunlight and alerts you about the dangerous radiations if you are absorbing them. So these are the sensors that are used to collect the data. The data which is stored in the cloud is later on passed on to data analytics server to provide you with necessary insights on your health app. With this we've come to the end of this video and also this series. And if you have missed out on any videos from the series, we have provided a link to the playlist in the description box below and the videos range from the logic behind Zomato, LinkedIn, voice assistants, Truecaller and more. Go check it out. And also if you have any suggestions or if you want us to make specific content or a specific series, leave it in the comment section below and to receive more such updates and for more such content, follow Skill. 